Though no one knows what dark energy actually is, it raises an astounding and troubling possibility. Einstein pictured the strength of his anti-gravity as constant. But is the strength of dark energy constant? And what if it changes over time? The answer could overturn everything we thought we knew about the fate of the cosmos. At the moment, everything in our world, from the molecules making up my body to the molecules making up the moon, is held together by forces that overwhelm the outward push of dark energy. And that's why we don't see things expanding in our everyday lives. But that situation might not last forever. In one scenario, dark energy will continue to push the galaxies farther and farther apart until ultimately they'd be pushed so far apart that the universe would become a cold, dark, and lonely place. In another scenario, the strength of dark energy might increase over time, becoming so strong that it would tear apart everything within the galaxies, from stars, to planets, to matter of all kind. If the dark energy grows with time, then ultimately even atoms will get ripped apart when there's enough dark energy between the nuclei and the electrons to rip space apart. The big rip. Our picture of space has gone through a remarkable transformation. Back in Newton's time, Space was just the container. It didn't do anything at all. Then through Einstein, space begins to affect how objects move. Then with Casimir, literally objects can be pushed by the activity even in empty space. And now through the ideas of Higgs, and dark energy, the very expansion of the universe may be coming from the energy of empty space itself. I don't think anybody would have thought that space would have this kind of rich and profound impact on the nature of reality. But as far as we've come, the journey that began with Isaac Newton's picture of space as something like a stage is not yet finished. As we examine the fabric of the cosmos ever more closely, we may well find far more surprises than anyone ever imagined. Take me, for example. I seem real enough, don't I? Well, yes. But surprising new clues are emerging that everything, you and I and even space itself, may actually be kind of hologram. That is, everything we see and experience, everything we call our familiar three-dimensional reality, may be a projection of information that's stored on a thin, distant, two-dimensional surface. Sort of the way the information for this hologram is stored on this thin piece of plastic. Now, holograms are something we're all familiar with, from the security symbol you find on most credit cards. But the universe is a hologram? That's one of the most drastic revisions to our picture of space and reality ever proposed. And the evidence for it comes from some of the strangest realms of space, black holes. This is a real disconnect and it's very hard to get your head around. Modern ideas coming from black holes tell us that reality is two-dimensional that the three-dimensional world the full-bodied three-dimensional world is a kind of image of a hologram on the boundary of the region of space this is a very strange thing when i was a younger physicist i would have thought any physicist who said that was absolutely crazy 
Here's a way to think about this. Imagine I took my wallet and threw it into a black hole. What would happen? We used to think that since nothing, not even light, can escape the immense gravity of a black hole, my wallet would be lost forever. But it now seems that may not be the whole story. Recently, scientists exploring the math describing black holes made a curious discovery. Even as my wallet disappears into the black hole, a copy of all the information it contains seems to get smeared out and stored on the surface of the black hole in much the same way that information is stored in a computer. So, in the end, my wallet exists in two places. There's a three-dimensional version that's lost forever inside the black hole, and a two-dimensional version that remains on the surface as information. The information content of all the stuff that fell into that black hole can be expressed entirely in terms of just the outside of the black hole. The idea then is that you can capture what's going on inside the black hole by referring only to the outside. And in theory, I could use the information on the outside of the black hole to reconstruct my wallet. And here's the truly mind-blowing part. Space within a black hole plays by the same rules as space outside a black hole or anywhere else. So if an object inside a black hole can be described by information on the black hole surface, then it might be that everything in the universe, from galaxies and stars to you and me, even space itself, is just a projection of information stored on some distant two-dimensional surface that surrounds us. In other words, what we experience as reality may be something like a hologram. Is the three-dimensional world an illusion in the same sense that a hologram is an illusion? Perhaps. I think I'm inclined to think, yes, that the three-dimensional world is a kind of illusion and uh, that the ultimate precise reality is the two-dimensional reality at the surface of the universe. This idea is so new that physicists are still struggling to understand it. But if it's right, just as Newton and Einstein completely changed our picture of space, we may be on the verge of an even more dramatic revolution. For something that's such a vital part of our everyday lives, space remains kind of like a familiar stranger. It's all around us, but we're still far from having unmasked its true identity. That may take a hundred years, it may take a thousand years, or it may happen tomorrow. But when we solve that mystery, we'll take a giant step toward fully understanding the fabric of the cosmos. Fabric of the Cosmos on DVD or Blu-ray, or to purchase the companion book, visit shoppbs.org or call 1-800-PLAY-PBS. The series is also available for download on iTunes.